Dear students, let's discuss the electric field strength due to a uniformly charged large sheet. Here this figure shows a very large sheet which is uniformly charged with the surface charge density sigma coulomb per meter square. Although due to limitation of space we have drawn the boundaries otherwise you can just treat that as it is an infinitely large sheet. And in front of it uh, say there is a point O which can be treated as center of the sheet. Every point on the sheet can be regarded as a center if it is infinitely large. And say in front of point O at a distance x, say there is a point P where we wish to calculate the electric field strength. Then in this situation to analyze it, uh, we consider uh, a small elemental ring of uh, radius y and width dy on the sheet. And uh, we have taken here the ring element because we know the electric field strength due to a ring at an axial point. So, for this ring, if we consider charge on elemental ring is this can be given as dq, and the value of dq here will be sigma multiplied by the area occupied by the element. That will be 2 pi y dy that is circumference multiplied by its width. And due to this dq electric field at this point P will be in the direction along the axis and this can be taken as dE. So, we can write electric field strength due to elemental ring At point P is this is DE and this can be given as directly by the result of electric field strength due to a ring that is K, its charge is dQx divided by x square plus y square to power 3 by 2 as the radius of ring is y. Now, net electric field at P is this is due to the whole sheet we can write as E is integration of the because now we need to integrate these elemental rings from 0 to very large that is up to infinite limits. So, it will be integration from 0 to infinity and if we substitute the value of d it is k dq we can write as sigma into 2 pi y dy x divided by x square plus y square to power 3 by 2. Here x is a constant and we are integrating y in limits from 0 to infinity. So, in this situation we take these constants out this will be 2 pi k sigma x integration of y dy by x square plus y square to power 3 by 2 from 0 to infinity. Now, in this situation we can apply a trigonometric substitution also with the Say let uh, y is equals to x tan theta, which will result dy is equals to x sec square theta d theta. And here uh, at uh, theta equal to 0, we can directly state y is also 0 and uh, y is equals to infinity when theta becomes pi by 2. So, we can also change the limits of integration here. So, here this uh, net electric field can be given as uh, this uh, k can be again written as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and this can be written as uh, sigma x uh, by 2 epsilon naught integration of y dy if we substitute it will be x square tan theta sec square theta d theta divided by if we substitute y as x tan theta it will be x cube sec cube theta. So, here you can see this x cube gets cancelled out sec square theta gets cancelled out limit will change from 0 to pi by 2 as we already calculated. So, now this electric field can be written as sigma by 2 epsilon naught integration from 0 to pi by 2 and tan theta by sec theta can be written as sin theta d theta. If you integrate this uh, we are getting sigma by 2 epsilon naught integration of sin theta will be minus cos theta with limits from 0 to pi by 2 which will be sigma by 2 epsilon naught. If we substitute the limits it will be 0 minus or minus 1 is plus 1 
So here you can see the result we are getting is sigma by 2 epsilon naught. This is the electric field due to the sheet, which is again quite an important result to be kept in mind. That electric field, net electric field at point P, we can write as sigma by 2 epsilon naught. It is due to a uniformly charged very large sheet, which is charged with sigma coulomb per meter square. The electric field is given by sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Let's discuss an alternative method and continuation for the same derivation. Say if this is the same sheet which is extended up to infinity, and in front of the sheet, say this is the point O which can be taken as the center of sheet, and in front of it we are required to find the electric field strength at this point P. Now in this situation, to get the electric field strength at this point P, we consider at a distance Y from this point O, we consider a vertical strip of width dy. And this strip of width dy can be regarded as an infinite thread, which is having a width dy and a charge per unit area is sigma coulomb per meter square. Then in this situation for this thread, we can define its linear charge density lambda as which will be the charge on unit length of the wire which is having a width dy. This lambda can be written as sigma into 1 dy. That is sigma dy will be the linear charge density of this strip. Now due to this wire at point P, the electric field will exist in this direction and say this electric field is dE. And in this situation, this D is making angle theta with the direction of a line joining O to P. If this angle is also theta, then in this situation we can say this D can be resolved into two perpendicular components. One is D cos theta and other is D sin theta. Here when this strip is integrated from one end to another, that is from minus infinity to plus infinity, all d sin theta being in opposite direction will cancel each other. So we can write net electric field strength at p is this can be written as e is equals to integration of d cos theta. And in this situation, this d e can be given by directly the result of an infinite line charge which is 2k lambda by the distance, if this point P is located at a distance x from O, this distance will be root of x square plus y square. So this will be 2k lambda by root of x square plus y square. If we substitute it here, this electric field at point P can be given as integration of 2k lambda, we can substitute as sigma dy upon root of x square plus y square. Multiplied by cos theta in this triangle, we can write as x upon root of x square plus y square, which is integrated within limits of dy from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, in this situation, this E we can write as 2k sigma x, which is a constant, can be taken out, and this is integration of dy upon x square plus y square, which is integrated from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this can be written as k we can write as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. So this will be sigma x by 2 epsilon naught. And integration of 1 by x square plus y square we can write as 1 by x tan inverse of y by x. And we Substitute limits from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, in this situation, this x gets cancelled out and electric field is sigma by 2 epsilon naught. And in this situation, I skipped one pi over here. If k is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, this will be, there should be also a pi in denominator which I have skipped. So here it will be 10 inverse of infinity is pi by 2 minus of uh, 10 inverse of minus infinity that will be minus pi by 2. 
So this will be sigma by 2 pi epsilon naught multiplied by pi. So in this situation, this pi gets cancelled out and electric field result will be sigma by 2 epsilon naught, which was the result we have derived on the previous sheet by considering elemental rings and integrating the rings from 0 to infinity. The same result we are getting by integrating the electric field due to the elemental strips again from minus infinity to plus infinity.